Hi, Freezer Man here. Today we are going to discuss how to properly clean the condensing unit on your glass door display cooler. Today we have featured a barn fresh unit for example and to show how it should properly be cleaned. Trust me, many times I have seen very similar units in C stores and customers places throughout the industry. Uh, our first step today is we're going to reach inside the unit and we're going to shut off the compressor. You can do this either by the temperature control inside the cabinet or you can unplug the unit or possibly flip off the breaker at the breaker panel if you know which one goes to this unit. Secondly, we look at this grill here and we can tell that this is visibly very, very dirty. Um, typically, a simple screwdriver will remove some screws to take the grill off. In this case, I've already taken the screws off just to expedite things. Once you're moving this grill, I want to warn you to be very careful as this metal is extremely sharp. I can't tell you how many times I myself have cut fingers open on these. So handle these with care. A lot of times they're very fragile and flimsy too as they're made of a very lightweight steel in most cases. Some cases plastic. What I recommend with a grill this dirty is to take it outside or uh, a slop sink if weather outside is not good and to use hot soapy water to clean this both sides make certain to clean both sides as lots of spider webs and spider eggs will get in these and here again be very careful of the sharp edges this is what allows the condensing unit where the compressor is to breathe and if this is dirty and plugged things will be bad down here so to expedite the, the video today, we're going to set this aside assuming we've already cleaned it. The radiator looking thing is called your condenser. I won't go into the refrigeration necessities which cause this unit to work and what this does. I will simplify things by saying this is where the air intake is to cool the compressor. There's more technical reasons for what this unit does, but for today's purposes, we'll just say cool air comes through the condenser to cool the compressor. As you can see with our uh, sample here, this is absolutely filthy. In fact, it's pretty much plugged. For example, this is what a clean condenser would look like. And you can see the difference between clean and dirty. Now, the cause and effect for a dirty condenser, there can be many problems that you will experience, such as the box is not maintaining temperature any longer. A lot of times people just keep turning the temp control up, thinking that, oh, if I turn it up, it'll get colder. But nine times out of ten, if you just simply clean this off, it will solve the problems. Another thing that may happen with a clogged condenser is you may have condensation or a pool of water on the floor. Right here is our overflow for some condensation to come down from the evaporator. And sometimes this pan can get overwhelmed and that too will spill the water on the floor. There are other things that will happen when it gets to this point such as the compressor will get hot and it will start to cook the oil. And once the oil is cooked, we start having failures on the refrigeration components inside. I recommend that these grills be cleaned off at least once a month. In some high traffic, dusty areas, possibly as often as once a week. But certainly a clean condenser will make your unit last a lot longer. So, I'm going to show the proper way to clean this. I like to get a brush like this, and my customers each are given one of these, and a demonstration 
when I sell or deliver a unit or I'm called on a service call and see this. This is just a simple brush that can be very sturdy but also soft. We don't, we don't want to damage the coils. In this case the coils are steel and it will be difficult to damage these but in a lot of cases it's made of aluminum or possibly copper which are softer metals and you don't want to damage it. So, I've already set up the shop vac and yes the shop vac and this brush is the only way to clean this and I will tell why and as soon as we have this cleaned why you don't want to do it any other way. So we'll start the shop vac. What I recommend is taking the brush and scraping the dust at the same time the vacuum is running so we're scraping the dust right into the vacuum. We don't want to get it all over the store or all over the floor for obvious reasons. So let's turn the vacuum on. It's imperative that we go back to the first part of the lesson of shutting the unit off first. If we don't, behind this condenser is a fan that's continually turning and it is sucking air that way. If we do not shut the unit off and we start loosening the dirt, all it will do is blow it back inside the unit and all over the compressor. Which brings up my next point. Many people tell me, well, I don't use a vacuum. I use compressed air or nitrogen and I blow it off. I have an example right here of what some people are talking about. They say my service tech comes in and just blasts that off. Now, I'm always led to wonder what intelligent person came up with that idea. Because if you blow this, what you're essentially doing is pushing the dirt right through the compress or the condenser all over the fan blade that's right behind the condenser and all over the compressor. And in most cases your unit is pushed up against a wall. So this whole cabinet down here is just going to be plugged up with the dirt that you just blew right in there. There's nowhere for it to go. I use the example when you're a kid and you're sniffling, your mom tells you to blow your nose, not just sniff it up inside. It's better to get it out and get rid of it than to keep having it up plugged up in your head. So that's the lesson for today, cleaning your condenser. And believe me, I would dare say 75% of the service calls I go on are because of lack of maintenance and this is the number one lack of maintenance that causes failures. So that's the lesson for today. If you'd like to see other lessons that we have and informative information, you can see us on our YouTube account at freezer.man101 or visit us on our website at thefreezerdepot.com. Thank you much and have a great day.